The next step in making a project is to do what we call a dry test assembly. And in doing this, I'm laying the pieces out on the workbench in the order in which I have to put them together. By making sure that there are no gaps down the sides and that everything fits together, both squarely this way, squarely that way, and in fact, I should be able to measure diagonal distances across the corners and they should be the same. What's really important is to make sure that the distance, the assembled distance here, matches the assembled distance over here. I'm now ready to commence assembly. At this point, we're preparing to assemble our project. We've already had a bit of a think about where we're going to be putting the saw cut later on to cut off the lid for our box, making sure that we don't nail anywhere near where that saw cut line is going to be. That could be very dangerous. We're preparing our timbers by taking our longer panels and putting some panel pins in around about halfway just to get things started while the timber is sitting flat and comfortably on our workbench. We're coming in around about a half the thickness of the piece of timber from the end and we're placing a 40 millimeter nail that's twice the thickness of our timber around about halfway through the project. Notice I'm not choking the hammer I'm holding the hammer in a relaxed fashion a good distance back from the head that way I'm using a nice smooth uh, wrist and forearm motion to put the nails in. Now the next step is to take a half of my project, that is a matching corner like this pair here and think about how they're going to go together. Now I want them to go together like this so I'm going to place one piece in the vise down here, level, and I'm going to put it in and fasten it firmly into the vise, almost level with the top of the workbench, making sure that it's level, clamping it in firmly. I'm then going to place a small amount of glue, PVA glue, across that top surface, and then I'm going to position this piece directly overhead, again making sure that it's at 90 degrees. It's a good idea to keep a tri-square handy so that you can see that it's pointing in the right direction when we nail it in. Then all I have to do is concentrate on getting the end level so that it's fitting flush, hold it down and then knock those panel pins in. And finally remove that, clean up any excess glue if necessary and then start the other half of the box. Repeat the same procedure. The final step in assembling our box is to place a small amount of glue on the ends of the two pieces we have over here, place them together on the workbench the way we're going to assemble them, and then position this one with the nails just hanging off the side of the bench. By doing this, we can then attach the side that's sitting comfortably over the workbench, line up the ends and knock these nails in. If you need a friend to help you hold this together while you're doing it, then call them over. Now we should be able to flip it over and do the last corner. A well-assembled project should obviously have no gaps on the corners, should be fitting together comfortably, should sit on the table without rocking, that is sitting flat, and the corners should all be at 90 degrees. If they're not, now's the time to fix it, not later. The next thing to do will be to take those nail heads and a nail punch of around about the same size as the nail head and we should punch those nail heads around about a millimetre below the surface. Wow. 
and do that to all four corners.